Hello friends, I am Anindita and in this tutorial I will share how to find the transpose of a given sparse matrix in a triplet representation. For that, let us first consider a sparse matrix SP whose values are as given. If we find the transpose of this matrix SP, let's call it SP dash, we need to simply just interchange the rows and column numbers of the individual entries. So for example, the first row in the matrix SP was four zeros followed by nine then a zero. Note that the matrix SP dash has the first column as four zero nine then zero. Now if we try to convert this matrix SP into its corresponding triplet, we will have a triplet matrix as given by trip. Here you see that the matrix SP was a 5 cross 6 matrix and had 6 non-zero values. Accordingly, the trip matrix has 5, 6, 6 in its first row. The rows and columns of the rest of the non-zero elements are then placed in the trip matrix. Now if we look at the transpose of the trip matrix that is trip dash, the only thing that we need to do is simply swap the first 0th column and the 1th column of the trip matrix. Accordingly, we get the matrix trip dash. The final step for finding the transpose is simply just sorting the matrix trip dash based upon the entries of the 0th column first and if two rows have the same value in the 0th column then we will sort them based upon the entry in the 1th column. The first row however remains unchanged because it defines the characteristic of the matrix. For the rest of the remaining elements, the element with the minimum value of row number is 4, whose row number is 0 and column number is 2. Accordingly, this particular row entry gets copied into the trip dash matrix. The next element with minimum row number is 8 whose row number is 1 and column number is also 1. So this is the next row that is going to get copied from trip dash to trip dash sorted. The rest of the rows are also copied into trip dash sorted accordingly. Here, if two rows had same value as a row number, in that case, we would have considered the column numbers of the entries to sort them into trip sorted. Finally, we get the trip dash sorted as per our requirement. Now, let us take a look at the algorithm that we need to follow in order to get the desired trip dash sorted matrix. First, we need to read the values of trip and count. In this case, trip is the matrix in the triplet format, whereas count indicates the number of non-zero elements in the matrix trip. Next, we set the value of the variable i to zero, and we initiate a for loop where i ranges from zero to count plus one. Within the loop, we swap the values of trip i0 and trip i1. With that, we come to the end of the for loop and the next only step remaining is sorting the trip matrix. So in the next step, we sort the trip matrix row wise. By row wise, we mean first we will be sorting them based upon the zeroth column entry of the rows. And if the entry in the 0th column is same, we will look into the entry in the 1st column. 